everyone, I'm Naomi D'Souza from the JISEC team. It's a pleasure to have with us here today His Excellency Amir Sharaf, CEO of the Cybersecurity Systems and Services Sector at DESK, the Dubai Electronic Security Center. Your Excellency, thank you so much for joining us You're here welcome. today. Thank you. With JISEC, the Middle East's largest cybersecurity event right around the corner, we're actually bringing together top experts to discuss the latest challenges, innovations, and collaborations that are shaping this industry. So, Your Excellency, we'd love to get your thoughts on the same, on how DESK plays a role here. Uh, thank you very much, Naomi, for the introduction. It's great to be back with you here today to discuss these challenges. And uh, JISEC has been a really important forefront for us. We've been a strategic partner uh, with JISEC over the past years. And this year is no different. As the official government partner, we are utilizing this very important event to reach out to the uh, consumers, to the customers, to the uh, government departments, and everyone in this space to better understand these challenges. Now, when you hear the word challenges, everyone clicks with that word <laughs> yes. from different levels, from a personal level, from corporate level, both would have their uh, insights on these challenges. I'd like to start with the personal level because that's how people are usually interested when it comes to cybersecurity. How could I better protect myself? I've seen a lot of stories that happens and challenges. And what I want to share today in a nutshell is that these challenges have amplified significantly over the last year with the onset of artificial intelligence, and services like ChatGPT and all the other artificial intelligence languages out there, it has become even easier for the culprits to create that fake content, to be able to scam people. So we really need to up the game and increase the awareness of the uh, individuals and the corporations as well to better counteract these potential threats. They can come in the form of images, of content, voice, video, pretending to be people we know. The deep so, fakes, right? The that, I think, is particularly very scary. And the scary part is that it's easily accessible now. So people can easily reach out and create this content using serve paid and free services online. There are actually a lot of free services, yeah. right? Because even us, when we're trying to create content, we see like the presidents, like people of power being like fake to say stuff, even sing songs. That's right? right, yeah. So it's very scary. So always use mechanisms that help you verify and cross check physically in the normal world. So you get something that sounds controversial or routine it's better that you check if it's beyond the bounds of the norm that you work with. So if you're transferring, for example, money, you know, usually transfer to uh, reputed or uh, companies that you are in contact with continuously. That's business as usual. But suddenly there is a new beneficiary or a new contact. Yeah. That's where you want to do cross checks and you want to go deeper and to understand and physically check where you can yeah. with the relevant departments within your organization. So this is like the key challenge that I think will be a major theme this year within JISEC. People will look around AI and how we can counteract that. So awareness will always be number one. The cybersecurity awareness, letting people be aware and know for these challenges, uh, training and uh, how we can introduce AI and evolve threats to counteract them with uh, cybersecurity training technologies. Now, this is where all the vendors come to the picture and all the people who are participating within JISEC. So there are going to be a lot of interesting technologies and as per all the international recognized uh, organizations that have announced it, be utilizing AI in one way or another within their uh, services that they provide. So when it comes to cybersecurity, you're going to have platforms that will have AI within its uh, infrastructure. So to further enhance and uh, detect threats before you have these tools and they're amazing and they're able to detect it but with AI you'll be able to see patterns more clear clearly so AI makes things faster uh, better identifiable better. <laughs> saves time on everyone and in every industry pretty much this is where things are uh, connected we find these are the major benefits of AI insight speed allowing us to do our job faster and more efficiently so uh, cyber security that's going to be very much true no, that's true. And I on, honestly, you know, before I get into the questions, I must add that Dubai is doing a phenomenal job at this because I remember when my card got hacked as well, I immediately called Emirates MBD and then, you know, they managed to kind of even reimburse the money back to me, you know, after Glad 90 days that, yeah. of checking. So I think, you know, you guys are doing such an amazing job at it as well. The you know? ecosystem within the UAE really, and uh, Dubai specifically as well, has introduced a lot of these measures. Banks, uh, the banking sector is working 
working very hard and yeah, diligently, banks, technology right? and awareness, making sure all their customers are always continuously uh, informed. Yeah. I'm not, I'm, uh, have you received the SMSs yeah, and the emails about exactly. the scams and potential scams that you need to be aware of? So uh, awareness is Yeah, those very regular crucial. newsletters as well, right? Yeah. Yeah, and I'm sure I speak for everyone. I think we feel really safe for that uh, specific reason, you know? 100%. But yeah, without further ado. So with the ever-evolving cybersecurity landscape, mm -hmm. how does DESK particularly ensure it remains proactive in addressing these threats? All right. Um, we've talked about technology and utilizing artificial intelligence to enhance the capabilities of cybersecurity. Our core foundational systems that are there today help ensure to a very high degree the security of cyberspace within the government of Dubai through our Cybersecurity Operations Center, our CSOC, and our very well-known project, the Dubai Cyber Index, that scores the government department's adherence to the cybersecurity uh, metrics from zero to five five being excellent, zero being a lot of improvement needs to take uh, place. And it, it is done in that manner so that it influences and encourages people to always achieve the highest grade and to be number one. Yeah. As uh, we are used from our leadership to always attain the number one position. And with that infrastructure, we're able to foresee uh, all the potential threats and uh, address them. So technology is always an important uh, layer when it comes to protecting our uh, assets, our information. The government or otherwise, even on an individual level, yeah. is very important to utilize on the individual level, two-factor authentication. Two I was just going to say that, yeah. <laughs> and utilizing any tool that can enhance that level of security, making it super hard for someone to access your privileges. Username and password is old now. Yeah. You need to have uh, another mechanism like two-factor authentication and additional tools, uh, key fobs and security. Yeah. People in, who are very savvy about this yeah. uh, know it very well. I think people end up doing it though only once they fall in trouble. Because yeah. I've seen a lot of those people, they rely on these OTPs and stuff. But then even with social media, the two-fact like you mentioned, yeah. Until they get into trouble, they are not going to do it, you know, but it, 100%. yeah, warning them is good enough. Do it course. now. Don't wait for it. Trust <laughs> yeah. me. And if unfortunately it happened to you, uh, share your story uh, uh, as well with your friends and family yeah. and instruct them what to do so that they can protect their uh, assets as well, their uh, WhatsApp account, their uh, credit card details and yeah. information. As th that's one angle. And another angle is research, continuous research and development. So it's an ever developing area. You need to be ahead of the game. You need to have cyber uh, threat intelligence. There are a lot of amazing companies that are going to be in JISEC that yeah. provide cyber threat intelligence. And there is also publicly available cyber threat intelligence that you can access through social media or through uh, free feeds provided by these companies. All this can enrich your capabilities to better correlate uh, all the traffic that's coming through your network to see if there is any potential threat trying to knock on your door. Mm -hmm. So research and development is crucial. How does DESK collaborate with global partners to strengthen cybersecurity efforts on a larger scale? That's a very important question. Thank you for bringing that up. In fact, it's so important that it's part of our cybersecurity strategy. It's a pillar by itself, specifically just for collaboration. Now we can nationally and internationally collaborate with likely-minded entities and organizations to enhance the cybersecurity of our uh, emirate, of our country, of our data. So I'll give you an example where we have actually collaborated with international entities uh, where we created uh, ideas that will have help us in securing our cyberspace. Um, on an international scope, we worked uh, with the well-recognized venues like the World Economic Forum, which we are a member in one of the committees there. And we've uh, discussed important subjects uh, of how to enhance the skill sets of the uh, cybersecurity specialists and trying to work on uh, ideas of how to secure the compute within the cloud and provide platforms that can provide insight, uh, skills, and technology that can better address cybersecurity challenges uh, today. And uh, on a similar level of scale also, we have worked with the World Bank Committee. We have a particular committee there that we are uh, co-chaired with and we've discussed very important elements in a recent event that we've hosted for that particular uh, committee mm -hmm. under the World Bank, uh, the Cloud Computing uh, Committee. And we've discussed how we can better secure the cloud uh, computing infrastructure and the challenges that come with it really. And within that, we also discussed how certifications can cross borders. So we worked on other certification programs um, that are specific for our city, 
how could we make these certification programs interoperate between other cities as well so that their certification works here, make it easier for the private sector to adhere to the international requirements. So one of those certification programs is our is a program that we worked with Crest, it's called Cyberforce. The purpose of this program is to certify specialists within cybersecurity. We're currently certifying penetration testers and we're certifying uh, incident handling specialists as individuals and as a company. So they would come, they would adhere to the requirements, they would do an examination, or they may have existing certification that can uh, put them ahead and uh, get that certification done faster. I invite you to access our website desk.gov.ae where you would be able to learn more about that certification and how on to on board onto that. So imagine you get that certification and then automatically this certification hopefully one day can be used in other cities around the globe. So this is how we work with international collaboration. It's a very important area and you can see how it's important and how it will develop in the future. We need to have that kind of fabric always within our strategies when it comes to cybersecurity. No, I do think that's important, right? Because people think that when they come to Dubai, they won't be able to work cross-border, for example, certifications. I'm pretty sure they'd be very helpful Make for entities for them, and individuals, exactly. right? Individuals, yeah, yeah. For sure. In what ways do events like JISEC Global contribute to fostering innovation and collaboration in the cybersecurity industry? Okay, uh, and for that, I would like to invite everyone to surely come over to JISEC. Please do come and visit. You'd see all these amazing vendors, amazing workshops that are taking place. So one of the key and interesting things that you would like to see there is like you see all the students and people in action. We are hosting a hackathon for uh, the government departments and a hackathon for the students as well uh, on two separate occasions, two different days where they would be competing and we'd actually see live challenges being addressed and it's exciting and hopefully we'll see who gets to be number one in that uh, particular yeah. competition. Thank you once again, Your Excellency, for sharing your valuable insights today. We really hope to see you at JISEC Global. Thank you very much. Likewise, I hope to see you all and our uh, guests as well at the JISEC Global 2025 at the Dubai Electronic Security Center stand. Yeah.